Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Virgo. This is going to be for your February 2023. You could apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're going to take a look and see uh, what your blocks and challenges are in finding love. And then we'll finish off the read to see uh, how you could overcome these blocks, what you need to look out for, work on. If there's anyone new, uh, if there's anyone new coming towards you, apply this to your own unique situation. Okay, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your replacements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. All right, tell me about Virgo. What are Virgo's blocks and challenges in finding love? What are Virgo's blocks and challenges in finding love? For February 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. Oh, the sun, Leo energy. Okie dokie. We have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. Uh, the Hermit, Virgo energy, and a Justice card. There you are with uh, the Hermit. Libra energy with Justice. Three of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Virgo, I feel like you're having trouble letting go of the past. For some of you guys, one of your blocks and challenges is that you guys keep going back to the past here. Six of Cups. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Or that you keep giving someone many 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 chances but with the death card and the seven of swords here nothing ever changes so with the hermit here i feel like you know it's time to go into hermit mode and really start accepting the truth and learning your lessons here because i feel like you're setting yourself up here with the ace of swords and the three of swords for you to get hurt over and over and over again yeah, it just seems like there's an energy of allowing too many chances here, Virgo. Yeah. The Hermit. Five of Pentacles. Justice. And the Lovers. Seems like this is a karmic situation here. This also could be a same-sex couple. It doesn't have to be. You could uh, apply this to your own unique situation, but... I, I do like, feel like with the Hermit card and the Five of Pentacles, some of you guys might have a hard time being alone. I mean, it, it, it just seems like an energy of settling for less than what you deserve. Yeah. Okay. The uh, Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, wow. Ace of Swords and Temperance. It is time to get serious about your healing here. I do feel like you guys will do it. Yeah, because I feel like what's happening here is I feel like you are getting sick of this. Yeah, you're sick of being juggled. You're sick of not being com uh, someone here not committing to you here. Okay. Yeah, I, I just feel like there's an energy of settling for less than what you deserve. You know, having a hard time being alone. You know, I just feel like, you know, there's an energy of solid settling because you haven't found or that you don't believe that there is someone better out there for you. The thing is, you don't believe that because you haven't done the healing work yet. And I feel like you will. Yeah, I feel like you will. Okay? So, you know, sometimes, you know, 
you know, I just feel like, you know, don't beat yourself up over this if you are. Sometimes it does take a couple of tries in order for you to completely cut somebody out. Yeah, it's kind of part of the process here and that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Let's see. How can Virgo overcome their blocks and challenges for February 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Is there anyone new coming towards single Virgo's way? For February 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. All right. Um, the Empress, Libra, Taurus, and the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay. So Virgo, you're about to go through some big, big changes here. Yeah. Libra Taurus here with the Empress. Four of Pentacles here and the Four of Wands. Two of Cups here and the Page of Swords. You know, I do feel like moving forward, do uh, what this change that's happening here, I do feel like you know there, you, you know, you are kind of like setting up boundaries here, or that you are kind of like living or uh, living by, you know, your core values so that you make sure that this doesn't happen again or that you don't get, get taken advantage of again. Okay, four of pentacles here in the four of wands. Two of cups in the page of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Okay. Tell me about the empress here. The moon, Cancer, Pisces, um, the wheel, and the four of cups here. It does seem like, you know, you are being asked to face your fears here. And I do feel like you are going to face it. I do feel like with the four of cups, there is some discontentment here. There's some ha unhappiness here. You know, I feel like this is so, this is uh, so interesting because it's not showing here, but this situation that you are going through with this past person or that this person that you've known for a long time, you're starting to realize that this is an illusion. Yeah. Four of Pentacles. Lots of fours here. Those, so there's a major focus on stability here. Okay. Three of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Four of Wands. And the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Kings and Queen of Pentacles here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Tell me about this Two of Cups, Six of Wands, Page of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. There is someone here that you're dropping from your life here. You know, I do feel like there is confidence that you will find someone else here. Because I do feel like there's a situation that you're dealing with here where you're giving someone here so many chances to stab you in the back. That's no longer happening anymore. Yeah, that's no longer happening anymore. It just seems like, like I said, I feel like you were settling for less and I feel like you're not settling anymore. You're reclaiming your power. You're leveling up. You're moving on. You're dropping this. You're cutting this out. You're healing from this. It's kind of like it's about time, you know, sort of like, oh, it's about time that you're doing this. You know what I mean? And I feel like you will do this. Yeah, I feel like this person, you might have thought that this person is the one that makes you happy, but it just seems like this person has made, made you miserable with the Three of Swords here and the Ten of Swords, all right? So Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.